Now with the style applied to each of those images, we're going to just do a few very basic enhancements before we take them into the triptych. So the first thing we want to do is just check the levels. So just go Control or Option L to open our Levels dialog window. And for each of these, we're just going to make very quick enhancements just to check our levels are all OK. So if you hold down Alt, drag your highlight slider and then your shadow slider. And by holding down Alt, you can just see when any shadow or highlight clipping is going to occur. Now with the first one, I just want to lighten up those midtones, and that just lightens up the image slightly. And then just click OK. And now I just want to boost some of those colours. So go Control U or Option U. And I'm going to boost the colour selectively. So first of all, I'm going to select reds. Increase the saturation just slightly. Down to yellows again. Slight saturation boost. Cyan's for a bit of that blue in the sky. And once I'm happy, just click OK to confirm those colour changes. Now the final thing, as always, is just to give it a bit of a sharpen. And because of the technique of applying lots of layers, I'm going to use Unsharp Mask. That way we can use the Threshold slider just to reduce any influence of noise. So I'm going to take the amount to about 60, the radius probably to about 1.4. If I click around the preview window, I can just check on the effect of that and the threshold up to about 16. I was happy, again, just click OK. Now, you'll need to work through the other images, doing exactly the same. And once that's done, you're ready to start creating your new triptych document layer. So the easiest way to do that is just to add up the widths and the height of each of the images. And at 125 millimeters each, with a 10 millimeter divide between each of the three images, and a height of 180, we're going to create a new document that is 395 millimeters in width and 180 millimeters in height. OK, so we're now ready to create our new document. But before we do that, we just want to make sure that we have black as our background color. So if we reset our color swatches, so if we hit D to reset and X just to make that our background color. And the reason that we do this is when we create a new document, we don't have an option to select black as our canvas color. But if you make sure that black is your background color within the swatches, when you create your new document, you can actually select to choose that background color. So if we go up to File, New, and Blank File, shortcut for that is Control N or Option N on a Mac. And what we want to do is make sure that we've got millimeters selected. In our width, we want 395. Our height, we want 180. Our resolution, we know from looking at the crop, is 240. And for our background content, we want background color. So all we now do is just click OK, and we now have our new document ready. So with that done, we just want to make sure that we've got our guides on and in place. Within Elements, if we go down to Edit, Preferences, and Grid. Now we want Grid to be showing in millimeters. We want a grid line every 10 millimeter, and we want a subdivision of 2. So we're happy with that. Just click OK. That set up our grid and switch those on. We go to view, down to grid, and now we have our grid. And we can see here that every 10 millimeters we have a grid line. Just to make things absolutely sure of where we're going, we're also going to switch on our rules. So if we go to view and rules, and we can see those appearing on the screen as well. Now, just to make sure that those are millimeters rather than centimeters they are at the moment, again, go to edit, preferences and units and rules and we want our rules as millimeters click OK and you'll see those rulers change to millimeters so I'll let you get the basic enhancements done to those three images and create your new document and switch on your grids and I'll see you in the next part where we'll actually lay out our triptych